classic on this map as they are going to head back in towards this a site late into the round the prowlers on fade one of the things that might be missing in all honesty from valiant such a valuable piece of utility well, that space was cleared quickly, but it's very quickly taken back. Spike Some early fights eight. from the defensive side. They don't even want that spike to touch the floor. Certainly not when it's placed by one of these attackers. Ten seconds or so to get that plant in. And, well, there's more than enough enemies there. You know, I, I was expecting Falcons to come in with, with some more uh, well, leniency on already. their side. But, yeah. Well, the dash hasn't worked on the way back out at least. But they'll use that time instead to focus towards the site. Look to take this fight a little further they don't know how many are in tree but they've got the idea that this might just be the whole squad and they might not need anyone other than mad v who just seemed to mow them down thunder is available ninu waiting on the other side stuns good and aftershock is going to force them back into an awkward position mel's already managed to take down toki as well so it looks like they've done a good job at avoiding it the plant though should be decent for the spams up afterwards. Looks like Falcons want to get that little bit more aggressive, though. Fight their way back towards the site. Nice position by Ava as well. He's able to swing a little quicker than expected, dropping the diffuser. The quick trades afterwards leave that round. One spot that can really be taken by the side of Falcons. That is the B site, where there is currently absolutely nobody. And unfortunately for the other side, they don't actually have an ult to clear this one out. Nice work, though. Tykuza and Serena already clearing down. The heavy hitters. Now they're still here, but look, it's different when you've got teammates running around to draw fire. Here's where you really got to step up to the plate. They're ready for a fight. Oh, so is Eva. Two quick kills. That's all she's getting, though. Nice. Oh, the first piece of utility, the turret, not even seeing her. This could be huge if she could manage to sneak up close, but in comes the big rocket launcher. Okay, the show stopped a little early on that one. Mad B was quick to find the kill defuse inside the smoke halfway already, but they're in. Either way, they're locked out. Yeah, they've got a rolling thunder and a hunter's fury, though. But I don't think that they're just going to sit there on the Falcon side. I love it. Don't allow them to just go for the retakes. They challenge forward. They still get caught by the util anyway. And the trade back's fantastic. We have seen the Seas grab one. We'll slow them down a little bit more. But the spike is ticking in their favor. Ava again might have to go big here as they look to try and round the corner already. Takes one down, but the trades from Serena have been sublime. And now Lodge is the only one remaining. Does still have a snake bite, which will be able to potentially delay a little bit. The spam's going to do a bit of damage, but I think they're just tanking it. Just sitting all the way through and the defuse will come through. That, it's almost a freebie kill. You're running through a smoke on the other side. Hunter's Fury should... Maybe the other pick up one? No, I think the dodge is there. A little bit of damage at least. And Toki's also had a bit of a whiff, but luckily the teammates are there to trade. Ninu trying to find a little bit more, but there is Lodge on the other side, waiting patiently, looking to cut off rotations, putting them in an advantage. Yeah, Serena caught her again, destroyed first, just to rob them of information. They certainly know where she's coming from. You see them stacking up now to take the fight together. Second shock dart a little late. The nano buys even more time for Falcons. There was a fall back. As soon as that showstopper is called, it's a certainty. That rocket's going to be fired oh. somewhere. It could be oh, close, no. and it's a little too close. Unlucky oh. for Mel. Straight down, and Tykus is a little bit late getting to the party. The door is going to be shut on her face. Oh, never mind. Okay, no, it's not. Left in it. Well, that's a little bit ridiculous. The lockdown, it's going to get next to nothing done. Yeah, these players have to fall back, but you ain't going through the pit, and you certainly ain't going through the rest of the forces who are stocked up, ready to go. Four versus two. Everything to play with. Double snake bite still in play. Spams with a silencer, untraceable. And that is about as good as it gets. You talk about the fashion. Typically, though, you want it for holding it down at the start, right? Those early nades and seizes the combos later on the problem is they've gotten so close already they have this util to execute onto sites and unless they're gonna outgun eva it, oh no what? three kills a complete shut that and so mad v has to fight oh, no eva's got it covered and that's even spotted her and there's a flank and there's a paranoia good night yeah, no, good, good night and sweet dreams other players there to, to fill in the 36 kills between ava and mad v 
It's not looking like it's going to slow down. Well, Mal might have other ideas, though. Straight through the wall. It's a little whippy. Oh, Only one to be found. That's Mad V out of the round. Kill race one by Ava for now. The chance to get a little bit more. In fact, she's going to need to get a lot more because it's only herself and Lodge left. And already she's been spotted on the way back through. Good kill, though. Doubling up and leaving just no. one with that extra kill. Going through infos there. Seize to work with. Not going to be used. Oh. One bullet. That's oh, all that's needed. Serena, though, slowly healing back up instead of K-Phase. The swing comes in and the oh. shots don't land. <laughs> well, there you go. Eventually, it's going to ping. Util will come through. Maybe not. Let's just play very risky. That player could already be close. And indeed, Ooh. close to her teammate. Sandra's down. So, too, is Taikuza. The trade's coming in. The defense is keeping their grip over C. Very scattered push from Valiant, but I think it's all oh. just because Lisa's able to push the spawn. Oh, look at where Ava is, though. Uh, oh. I, I, th there's no way they expect her to be here this quickly. With two players. Yeah, this as is well. such a fast flank. This kill is for absolutely nothing. And now they're going to go to the planter as well. Ava is just a, a different gravy. The timing is sublime. And oh, Lisa. I don't think there's a chance now. They just line up together. Of course, Ava, Ava hits the shot. <laughs> Three people in the ag way. It's been tough if your name isn't Ava. She's stealing the show right now. 24 and 6. 11 to 5 for the defensive side. And a lot of control, though, for Valiant. Mad V steps up for a kill. They've got into an afterplan, but the weaponry oh. stinks. Hey, there's not a lot to play with. The Stinger from here should be able to get one. Mel as well. But now that rifle left. On Lisa has run. to do absolutely everything. Lockdown put into play, but they may just be able to actually defuse oh. this, get it to half at least, and she almost has to go for the swing on onto that spike. Try a little bit longer. There's still plenty of time though. If Luge gets this kill, the round should be hers anyway, but doesn't expect the reposition. Red Bull cut. Uh, but now the A presence has actually waned. It's much lighter, and instead the presence seems to be focused towards this seaside already breaking past the utility and that's why you don't run through the wall and a snake bite never mind the orb so low on the other side spikes down and 30 seconds left has to be recovered these players need to charge through they haven't really got what they need to break that point it's just straight up angels one out by falcons i was like thinking the same as i was, I was like okay there's going to be a rolling thunder there's good offensive side the attack and now spread absolutely everywhere and this is going to be such a difficult retake. Viper's pit utilized. Hunter's Fury thrown in, but now already one is gone. Another dropped. This is looking clean from the side of Valiant. And well, it's going to be left just onto Mad V. You need, a, you need to pull the other's power cables out. It's about the only way that one was going to... Their players putting in a good individual shift. Nonetheless, it's going to be a very aggressive brute force play. And already it's not going great. You mentioned it. It's, it's a disgusting strategy, and it's left Valiant with 20 seconds left, and almost no timing. Okay, never mind. There is an advantage. Incredibly low, but we've already seen them pull some of these rounds out of the hat. Flash timing could be everything. It's just quick pace move in, but the kill's going in their favor. Somehow, this is now left all onto Ava. She's been a champion so far, but this has to be... Another big play out from her. Remaining. Spots out. Mel wins the fight. And there isn't much of a trade. The time ticking, though. Needs to try and bait in her opponent. She does just that, but Lisa's there. Big fight if Taikusa decided to take it, but she's not. Instead, sitting down behind the box as lockdown comes into play. A big ultimate. And it's put a lot of pressure on this oh. side. Toki does well to find two. 13 seconds on the clock in the spray. It nearly connects for so much more damage. Eight seconds. As we see this spike attempt to be planted, Taikusa has to Defenders swing, wins. and it's too little too late. The side of Falcons finally close this one out 13 to 11, Tom, but backing off and giving up control of B. Well, the majority of the force pushes up A, and they've been spotted, and they'll be fought. And V just about making it round the corner for another opening duel, and doubling up on it as well. Mad V, six opening duels last map, only lost one out of the seven what? that she took. She's and this time, breach. three kills off rip on breach. As, I mean, she has breached the defense, that's for sure. Yeah, bre breach and clear. That, that's what she's done. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you just ignore that. The ridiculous stuff. Uh, yeah, it's left. Once it's please, it's try and clutch this one out. Okay. You've got to be a little bit careful. I must leave the HUDs a little bit behind. Don't worry, those players have gone down. That wasn't headshots and the player's not falling. 
but unfortunately, Ava is going to be there on the flank to... 30 seconds left. I'm just looking at the... Like, Haikusa, for a second, seemed prepared. No way that she expects this kill. Rifle will be collected as well for Toki. Mentioned her being a highlight outside of this match so far. We'll see what she's got left for the reel here. As a couple of players coming around the corner. I don't think she expected two to be there. Too many targets. And now Ava, star of the show in the last, last map. Alongside Luge. Well, make it just Ava. We'll see what she can do. Well, I'm surprised they're taking fights on their own. Oh. One by one, they fight. In fact, splitting again. This time, another 1v1. No. Thankfully, the trade was there. But the utility to play off the cam online. The trap. Might even just catch Toki as she goes to walk back. Never mind. Destroyed and Toki's picking up at least one. But, okay, it, it's not as much of a delay as... And with Mad V already having that rolling thunder, th this is really a, a race against the clock. The second they get anywhere near that spike ball, the paranoia are going to be expended first. There's the rolling thunder. They might not even need it. Already the two kills going in their direction. And, okay, uh, walk around the corner with no bullets might be a problem, but not when you have Ava on your team. And <laughs> uh, this has cost them massively a huge commitment from the side of Valiant. A huge hit, and it's found ultimately nothing. They're looking the other way, but it's worked out. Ikuza gets the kill, and they can fall back now in the 4v4. Look at where Ava yeah. is, though. Look yeah. at her position. It, it's just utter filth. She's Hi. completely behind them. Left. And we'll just get Taikuza for free. It's almost just trying to bait out these rotations. Showstopper used and will take out Serena. Lisa needs to go huge here and she does. Finds the kill. On to Sandra. That's now the last player standing. 15 seconds left. Needs this kill almost immediately. And Lisa again. And it's actually going to use it. I was going to say on one HP, that is bold. This has been a, a very confusing round for most of these players. Control never really what it seems is this position inside of markets doubled up on for the Falcon side. They seem to have a good off angle to fight on, but that spray needs to be good. It needs to destroy the little guy. But they don't know. There could still be someone defusing it as they spray a little bit more. He's in. They're low, but Whoa. they're able to get it just about. It's stopped with a second left on the defuse, even less, a fraction, a few pixels, but it's enough. Leaving. It's definitely a peculiar one. This time, Cypher Util still on A, but there's a few more players defending B. I, I think they've detected it might be seen as a weakness. Maybe not after this. Some kills going to the pistols, and Sandra's just tucked in the corner okay. with nowhere to go, no escape from this madhouse. As Falcons, 22 players left up against the Pistols, and Lush is looking to even still be alive, dancing yeah, desperately good. around the market. And Taikuza finds her eventually. It's it's pretty much done. Mad V's had some insane rounds so far. This one, though, I don't know. It'll be a little too much. Gun here. The attempt, though, should leave the defenders without the ability to fight back. Thrash thrown through, a little bit of space taken, but they have to cross by the site, and they've no idea that Ava's already there. Two quick kills, turning on a dime each time. And Toki follows up for a little more. The third is a precise shot. A happy accident. And the space taken by Toki, she's not giving it up. You know, everyone else has fallen back to B main, but she wants to hold that control, and much to her peril. Fortunately, one less player now. Play in the post plant right as the spam battle is about to ensue. Smoke down as the defuse is attempted, already going to be denied on the first. Little man already down and out of here. And well, Mad V's oh, in trouble, but has teammates to trade. Defuse underway, and this they time they're not stopping it. This time Valiant will find the right. She's she's quite deep in towards the site, falling around to a slightly safer angle. But that's what I was expecting. Eventually, showstopper fired. Not to great success, and not to great success is the mid push either. It's a disaster. So maybe throw little bro out there to try and do something here, but ultimately there's so many players ready and waiting to try and stop this and leaving just Serena now to try and fight them all. Definitely not going to be easy. At least gets one for her troubles, but an 8-4 half for Falcons. Not a lot of clutches that went towards Valiant. I, I don't think Falcons needed a lot of clutches last map either because they were just winning rounds. Ooh, and there it is. Big. Aggressive Taikusa for the pick. Gotta be careful over the top of the smoke. <laughs> it's in such a deadly position. We've seen tens farming from that exact spot over in America's and 
Oh, it's going to work out for them once again. Taikus are definitely trying to be a little bit cheeky around the smoke and has done damage somehow. Doesn't get traded immediately, but then those frags come back, leaving things down to one. Lisa has been phenomenal, but down to just 10 HP. Really needs to work some magic. Both opponents are also low. Playing a game of ring around the rose. He has managed to isolate, although not looking the right way. Plant is going to be in. Fast-paced take has once again paid dividends. They haven't got the opener this time. Well, never mind. Same as before. I was going down. Mad V might get caught with you two. In fact, no, it's going to be Toki. They're just playing off of these aggressive individual pushes. One will come back for Ava, but they've still got an awful lot to do. It's easy to try and hold them back that little bit further. You can see the Prowler going through the smoke, catching another, but the frags now all going in the direction of Valiant. The last couple of players are low. Ava's still in with a chance for the time. Is surely ticking too far gone at this stage. Needs to be on it. And will maybe clear out the remaining players at least. But there ain't no way you're getting that defuse. Too big of a deal. But it's definitely going to allow for a fast rotation. Yeah, it's feeding that information over to the rest of the squad who are currently avoiding all that utility that's flowing through. Now, though, quick play around the side. And I guess it has blindsided them. Free for that. And a paranoia that... Well, Ava's still able to hit. Now, it should be done. Yeah, Mal able to eventually convert down into the two versus two. And look, Valiant, they're a little bit trapped, but they can go for the spams down to try and deny that defuse. The cage has blocked vision and it's already half. Now they're gonna be worried. It could be stuck right under their nose and as Mal steps in to check, Toki rips her head clean off. Nino steps hurt. The spray, it's not on, but eventually it finds its mark. Only one player left. The time ticking away and Nino's managed to dodge another stun in and it's clean. A clutch for Nino. Again, Valiant on this attack side. We've mostly seen them have heavy defensive side victories, but that's mostly because they have heavy defensive side victories that we don't get to see much of the attack. The one time they did, it's almost, I was going to say, hoping for a mistake. They're going with the rolling thunder. 30 seconds left. Yeah, there's a flank thrown out by Lisa as well, so players on site just need to delay. In fact, it looks like they're dealing damage instead. Taking these duels successfully, swinging through, and Lush now at last alive, easily traded out one by one. They fought, and one by one they fell. This this almost looks like a backwards round. They are coming into the B site from behind. Lodge, I don't even know what she could do here. Oh, there you go. That'll do. That, that's a nice shot. Just going forward as well. Meeting up with the rest of the squad. Thank God as well, because that thrash has got massive value. Mel shut down eventually, and Rolling Thunder put through on the other side as Valiant looked to retake control, but nobody's caught. They've made it around the corner, just about evading them. Valiant, time, it, it's not that low. Three players on the other side. They could easily be rooted out of these positions, and they're pretty scattered as well. Uh, the TP across uh, is causing problems, but Lee's is hitting it, standing. making it look easy with those flicks. Uh, Lush doing much the same what? as all five kills land on Lush's lap. Falcons not giving up their lead any Had a moment to talk. They've put in a couple of credits here, but mostly it's waiting for the next, trying to compete for 12-9, but there's a chance. They could pull it back here. Lisa does well to find the first, although it's shut down immediately. There's lots of players here for Falcons. Utility is a sign of that. This as soon as that market push is seen, it is pushed back by the nade. Nino's isolated and taken down. Mal's done a remarkable job though. Through a smoke, just peeks in to take Ava. And the numbers are equalized. Rifles, not really retrievable. A bulldog on Serena's as good as it gets right now. But the element of surprise comes back into it. They've pumped the brakes. And Falcons don't know where they've gone. Falcons now know where okay. they've gone. Okay. Whoops. Well, oh, it ends up being given away by a trip anyway. That's a little bit unlucky. Oh, there is a mosh available. That might even kill Osandra before anything happens. Never mind. It's now just down to one and not this time. Taikusa. That would be worth its weight in gold right now. There's so many weaknesses to play with. No big ulties. Utility is there, and, and, and Ava, Ava's there, sorry. My, Ava's there, it's winnable, it's doable, it's oh, favorable, no. they found another! Oh, it's down to two! Mel, trying desperately to stand strong, some support in the back, now gone! It's all onto Mel, and there's too many bodies on the other side! Host, Lisa as well, Please coming in on a late flank, you. might be able to cause some serious issues at a second bite oh. of the cherry. That's two players detained in the corner. Round is over. OT should be on the cards unless Ava has a true hero moment. 
the last player standing in a one versus four, and it's just not happening. I'm back. If, if they, do, oh, it, it's gonna happen again. She was such a problem for them when it came down to these retakes because you saw so oh, is being checked. Mel's checking for it, but she still loses the fight. So he's still gonna have to try and deal with it. Taikusa though wins a battle clean. That can make things more interesting. And all the players in main, while we've already seen a sneaky defuse come in from them in the past. Oh, they're baiting them into the angle. Trying to get that swing for Sandra, and there it is. The crossfire good, the defuse underway again. No, it comes so it. close, but just about stopped. Flank defuser was killed with uh, a fraction. Oh, as we can see, there's not. They've gone towards the A site, so this utility will find a lot of value as it blinds out and blocks out with some of the few players that are still alive. That was through the smoke. She caught a glimpse of her for a second and walks away with a kill. Now, Lush is being cleared. They know that she could be here and they're watching. Second, it runs the clock down slightly and gives a chance. Now, Ava, every single clutch she's been in, she makes it look doable, even in the most of unlikely of scenarios. And with Mel already down, perhaps a better chance. Up close, though, she's got to clear it and she will. Lee's has dropped immediately and the Sprays now, only two guns left to try and stop this defuse. They're not finding the mark to start with, and a wild spray no, reloads the no, no. Not gonna get there in time! The defuse is found, and Falcons take the series 13 to 11 and 14 to 12.